Hey everyone, welcome to Kerbal Space Program Career Mode with Roni. How are you guys doing? Um, today's episode I want to explore lathe and the problems with designing a rocket for lathe and everything. But before we go any further, I just want to let you know we're now on 995 subscribers. Um, and I just want to give a huge thank you to everyone who's supported me so far. Those on Patreon, doubly so. You're really helping me um, keep the channel alive. And also, yeah, if anyone can share my videos around, that'd be amazing. Share them on Facebook, Twitter, wherever you want. But now to get on to business. So, in order to explore Lave, we need a big damn ass rocket, at least with the technology I have. So I just want to show you currently some of the stuff I have available. So if you take a look at the left hand side of the screen, you can see all the different fuel tanks I've got. You can see some of the engines I've got. I haven't been able to unlock everything yet because I still need to explore other places and do scientific uh, experiments there. But I think what I've built here is not too bad of a rocket. I'm, I'm just not sure if it's going to get me there or land or anything like that. Now the problem I've got is I've tried this a couple of times. First of all I kept running out of electricity so I've attached loads of solar panels all over the place to this thing. And second of all the rocket was hard to control and third of all I burnt up in the atmosphere. So I've now attached this heat shield, but the thing is, when I land, I think what that heat shield is going to do is tip my rock upside down and it's going to land sort of head first. So what I'm thinking of doing is adding like a decoupler in between there. Now what do you think? Is that a good idea? Will that even work? I'm not sure. Doesn't look like it will. So I don't quite know how to attach this heat shield, because if I attached it underneath this rocket that's my pr that's uh, underneath this thruster that's my preferred method of doing it but I really want some of your input because this may fail so I'll show you some of this design and you can critique it all you want and if it does fail then obviously I'm gonna need your help so here's what I think if I now attach that let me see so after this stage is burned we want that bit to decouple and then as we land we'll have the heat shield plowing down now that's got 60 ablator I don't know if that's too much or enough so I'm just gonna reduce that to f uh, 40 I think just to give us a bit more Delta V um, yeah and then we want to act to get rid of that stage and activate the thruster there then we'll probably want the parachute. So to me, that looks good. This looks like a little lander of all the different scientific exper experiments I can do on it. Now, hopefully you'll agree. It's not perfect and I'd love some critique for you guys to get in touch and help me out here. Um, but that's what we're gonna go with. So I will see you in a few moments when we're coming in close to lathe, all right? Hey everybody, changed my mind. I thought I'd show you some of the launch of this beast. I can't show you the rocket without actually showing you the launch, can I? That would be mean. So, so far so good. It's going up nice and straight. It's not wonky. It's not tilting. I've tried to take on board some of your advice. Some of you have said to use nose cones, so I've got some of those on there. Um, I've got a giant little uh, reaction wheel running there. Just hoping we've got enough thrust to get us high enough before gravity starts pulling our rocket round and tipping us upside down. Although, some of you would probably enjoy watching me flip over and destroying my rocket. <laughs> That's really long, this rocket. I prefer big, fat rockets, you know, rather than long, but this is kind of what I've built with the technology I've got. So, like I said, any feedback, gratefully appreciated. All right, now I'm going to start just tipping to the side slightly. You can see it's quite hard to control, like it's really top heavy and wiggling a lot, but it could be worse. Yeah, it's going way out of control. Right, now, what are you doing? Now, what can I do to improve this? Obviously, this is a right mess. I shouldn't have started tilting it so quickly, I guess, but I've managed to pull it back under control. Yeah, as long as it keeps going up. Now, I don't know quite how to stop it wiggling like this. But either way, we're going up in a fashion. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is go back to the re... Uh, go, no, not vehicle assembly. Although there, maybe there's some things we can change in here. Now, if I was going to change it, 
what do you think I should do? Because if I get rid of this top bit, then obviously the amount of Delta V available is nowhere near as much. So I think what I'm going to have to do with the stuff I've got right now is to launch it and just wait till I get to like a higher altitude before start trying to tilt it sideways. I think that's probably my best play. Um, like I say, lave is extraordinarily difficult, at least for me. So that's why I need your feedback. So let's go back and test this bad boy out again. Look how slow it is to launch. Blimey. Goodbye, home. At least there's no Kerbal on board to like die and crash back into the surface and I'll have to write letters to his family and everything. There's none of that, so we've just got robotic AI to worry about. And nobody's going to apologise to those, are they? Alright, I think what I'll do is I'll get up into the atmosphere and everything and I will rejoin you, like I said, once I'm nearer to leave. Please send in your comments also. Hey everybody, changed my mind again. Haha. <laughs> Here's my rocket after I've decoupled those giant boosters that were around the side of it. So you can see I'm kind of in the sort of, you know, upper atmosphere of Earth, you know, on the edge of space kind of thing. And the problem I've had is that basically SAS uh, in this rocket is really bad. You can see if I try to change the direction at all, it goes really woggly, wiggly woggly. And I think the reason for that is basically just because it's too long. And obviously, at the beginning, we critique that, and we know that's a problem, but I don't quite know how to correct it, so I am waiting for some feedback. But, you know, I'm getting there after a fashion. Now, I don't profess to be a expert at this game, so I'm not going to worry too much. All I'm really trying to do is get enough speed to get up towards lathe, basically, or to get escape curb in and then get out into the atmosphere and approach lathe. Obviously, if some of you are even more noob than me, God, to dread to think how the hell you're more noob than me. But anyway, um, if you are, then Lathe is a moon of jewel. And it takes freaking forever to get there. Hence why I keep saying I'm going to show you the video, uh, show you my approach to Lathe rather than all the build-up. Because it just takes so long to get there. Now, if I just go here, you can see we now have an escape trajectory. And I shouldn't be wasting fuel. But that's my escape trajectory out into the solar system. And here, this green one is Jewel. So you can see I've already attempted to get there with Moho Lander Mark 1 and that kind of failed. Electricity problems. But maybe we'll see it on the way. Anyway, this time I really am going to show you when I actually get closer to Lathe. So see you in a minute. So here we are on our approach to Lathe. Now if I just fast forward this and show you the kind of distances we're talking are absolutely astronomical. Ha 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 ha. Uh, our dual encounter is in one year and 360 some odd days. It was well over two years, uh, my encounter, and basically that's because, and as I understand it, the further away I get from the sun, the sort of less gravitational pull is on me, so there's basically nothing accelerating me towards uh, the sun. So yeah, I'm not going to show you any more of that, it's going to take way too long. I'll rejoin you again in a second! Alright, so the next stage of my or attempt to get to lathe, I've set it now as my target. And what I'm doing now is creating a burn to give me an orbit around Jewel. Now, what I want is for some critique. Maybe I'm approaching this wrong, but what I'm aiming to do here is reduce my speed so I get an orbit around Jewel. And then I'm going to use the ascending and descending node to sort of correct the angle of my orbit, because you can see I'm way out of sync with um, Lathe itself. So, yeah. Can you let me know if uh, I'm approaching this wrong or anything like that? Now, you can see I've only got 3,400 approximately meters per second delta V left. So that's not a great deal. I don't know why this surface thing is going all weird. There we go. All right. So here's our orbit. And then, I guess I don't really need to do any more of this. So yeah, what I want to do now is when I get to either the ascending... Let's see which one's closer. One year. Wow. Let's go to the... That's also one year. What? Which way are we going? <laughs> let's find out. Alright, we're heading to the right. Okay, so when I get to the ascending node, what I'm going to do is mess around with this. To try and get me an angle which is like I said, closer to the angle of orbit of lathe itself now. 
some of the videos I don't record in real time, but this one I'm actually recording a lot of it in real time. So let me just be rather careful here. Uh, so that's going to need 326.6 meters per second delta V. So let's maneuver ourselves. Again, what I'm going to do is bring you back to the video in a moment after I've completed all of this and then show you my approach to lathe. I should still have enough delta V. Well, hey guys, I have managed to get an encounter with lathe in one hour and some odd minutes. So we need to, a burn of 11 seconds. So I'm just speeding up the time here to get to the point and I've slightly overshot it, but that's okay, I think. What's going on? Have we run out of electricity? No, we've run out of electricity. See, this is the problem I always get. Holy crap. What the hell is wrong with you? See, the sun's right there. Why aren't you giving me sunlight? Slightly having a problem again with my rocket. We could do with some of them extendable solar panels. Got a little bit of power. There we go. We can now do our burn. We're two days overshot, though. All right, that means we need to find another encounter. Yay. <laughs> Let's do it from, I don't know. Let's do it from here. You can see the problem I have. This is really hard. So I, my orbit's actually a lot better now in line with Lave. But we need to get an encounter and have enough electricity left to actually... Hang on a minute. To actually be able to start our engine. So, there we go. A little bit more, maybe. There we go. There's an encounter wiggling in and off the screen. Not a Val encounter. No way. All right. Apologies for this, guys. It just takes so long. It's so difficult. There we go. No, nearly. What about if we do it just about there? Yeah, we have an encounter with Lathe. Let's hope we have enough electricity in 30 days. <laughs> if we just fast forward and take a look at our electricity, it's up there a little bit. 16 days, 15, 14, 12. Estimated burn two days, lol. <laughs> it's not going to be that long. All right, let's just skip. Oh, God, I just overshot it again. Overshot my window by far. All right, let's power it up anyway. We're going to get an encounter one way or the other. Reinstein is fluffing his lines here, but we're going to get it. Don't worry. I'm just going to slow down a little bit. Maneuver my rocket. This is so much pressure here to perform. <laughs> Oh, no. Wrong encounter. No, we've lost our encounter. All right, what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, get rid of the screen for a minute, get rid of the recording, and I'll be back when I've actually got this encounter. Well, guys, the good news is I now have my encounter with Lathe. You can see it around the great, big, beautiful green beast that is Jewel. Um, the bad news is if you look at the staging of my rocket, I've got 477... Delta V left. Now let me just take a look at my rocket. That's on this stage. So yeah, the problem is because my heat shield is on the bottom, I've not got enough Delta V to make this encounter with lathe. Meaning, once I decouple this part, then we'll be on the heat shield and we won't be able to use this engine to slow down. So I don't quite know how to tackle this problem. I don't think there is a way of tackling it. Let me see if there is any way of using a reduced amount of Delta V. I don't think so, but you never know. Um, that expands it slightly. Maybe if we go there. Let me see. No, that kind of messes it up completely. Yeah, so we still need a minimum of 785.4 Delta V. Now, I've got, to, I've got this far before. So I've kind of got most of the science. I guess the best we can hope for, really, is to get like a satellite around here. So I, that's what I'm going to aim for. What it indicates to me is we need more fuel before this stage. So for here, for example, if we had 785 Delta V, I'd be happy because then we could get our orbit or, you know, try and plummet towards the surface of lathe, use our heat shield to go in, parachutes, all that jazz. And it might work, but I'm gonna maybe I'll try it anyway. It could be worth a try, right? Let's just go in for it. Let's go in for the kill. All right, ready? Fire the engines, Captain. Here we go. Now, I know this has been a bit of a longer video than usual because I'm trying to do things in real time. I hope you appreciate that. 
There we go. So there's... And our heat shield even decouples... No, it doesn't. There's our heat shield. All right. But we can't use our heat shield. So I'm pretty sure we're going to burn up in the atmosphere. All right. Well, we need to activate this part of the engine. Something blew up there. All right. So let's get as close as we can. And I kind of want to land like on a piece of land. I don't think it's going to work, like I say, but... We'll give it a go. All right, there's our landing spot. You ready for this, guys? This is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> okay, let's go here. And we are approaching now. So we've got 1,426 Delta V. Now, the problem is there is an atmosphere here. So we're just going to burn up as we go through. And I think it's just going to wreck everything. But if we can get a landing, that will be rather spectacular. But I don't see it happening. Right, now what I'm trying to do is just find the spot on here where I need to be facing. So, obviously, it's round this way. Hopefully, you're enjoying the drama of my failures. I did tell you at the beginning, this is titled The Problem with Lathe. So, here we go. That's our approach angle. Whether we, whether we would land on land or not, I'm not quite sure. It looks promising. There's a bit of land. And here we go. So, here comes the heat. Now, this is probably going to wreck everything. Now, it will slow us down, and we do have parachutes, so maybe all is not lost. But I don't know if this is going to break everything in my on here or not. Now, I've been here before, like I say. Wow, something's blowing up. Holy crap. Some wonder what that was. Something overheated. Oh, Jesus. Explosions. No, it blew up as it went through. So there we go. That is the problem we're getting to lay. Like I say, I've got all the science I can get from here. And we have failed on our mission. What I really need is feedback on how to redesign my rocket and get it to uh, a stage where we can actually get to lay. Thank you for watching, guys. Please join me on the next few videos where we're going to be trying out planes. We're going to be trying to get to lay again with your feedback and hopefully building a space station. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.